It's Sunday and thanks for clicking on to the 30th edition of the Global Weather and Climate Report. I appreciate uh, you checking into today's video and uh, of course before we get into the video please like, share with your friends and family and if you haven't already done so do hit that subscribe button. There is a lot of unique weather content here that I strive to produce and you can check that out primarily on Twitter as well as on Facebook you can check out daily weather updates from myself for both local as well as global. And indeed, you can check out marthoganweather.com as well for plenty of weather content. Coming up this week, I will have a May 2023 outlook. As well as that, I do have a newly written article about the extreme heat that we um, are seeing at the moment across parts of Southeast Asia and also the normal heat that you would expect to see now over the subcontinent of India, Pakistan, temperatures in the mid-40s. This is the time of the year now, late April, early May, where we see the pre-monsoon heat peak. So, um, But I think the biggest story really is actually going down into the um, Southeast Asia mainland, where Thailand has recorded an all-time record of I believe 45.4 Celsius. Laos uh, has recorded an all-time record as well as I believe Myanmar has also added to the list of all-time records set. So the exceptional heat of the scale heat, if you will, has been across Southeast Asia. Uh, as well as that, we're seeing uh, some remarkable swings in temperature over parts of China, where we're seeing, of course, at the start of the winter, 50 below zero and even as low as minus 53 in parts of China. That was the all-time record cold for the Chinese nation. And now we've seen, uh, you know, in recent times, the earliest 40 Celsius, uh, or second earliest uh, 40 Celsius uh, for China. We've also seen temperatures jack up to 42.4 Celsius in recent days in China. So remarkable heat across many portions of Asia. But uh, yeah, um, always remarkable stuff going on. And that is why on each and every Sunday, I do a global weather and climate report. Looking back at the extremes that have taken place over the past week across the planet. These are the two meter temperature anomalies, by the way, for the month of March. It was a warm month. It was, I believe, the second warmest month on record for March. Uh, the warmest being 2016. You can see here large swathes of uh, Asia in particular, warmer than average, as well as northern portions of uh, North America, eastern North America, below average, uh, central and western portions of the United States, central Canada, uh, India below average, uh, a large swathe of equatorial Africa below average. Uh, but look at this here. This is for the month of April and a big turnaround for Central Asia, if you notice here, despite the fact that we're seeing incredible warmth across the Southeast Asia mainland, so Thailand, Myanmar, Cambodia, uh, Vietnam, Laos has been seeing some incredible warmth, all-time record, monthly records, as well as all-time records for the whole year in parts of this region here. We have been seeing some very cool conditions, Western China, Mongolia, Eastern Kazakhstan, Central Russia, uh, India, believe it or not, even though a lot of media sources would have you believe that it has been incredible off the scale warmth across India, we're only now starting to see the temperatures turning around. I believe Delhi had its latest 38 Celsius or higher uh, since 2015, but we are seeing a below average month in India, Pakistan, warmer than average across parts of Iran, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan. Cool across much of uh, of Europe, as you can see here. Much of Africa below average for the month of April. Much of Australia below average, which is quite interesting. The same areas that were cool, cool than average during the month of March uh, remains to be the case for April. Northern portions of the United States, uh, the southern plains of Canada, western United States, northern portions of uh, Canada below, uh, above average, should I say, uh, Quebec above average. Uh, we're also seeing below average across Alaska and warmer than average across Greenland. Still cold, but warmer than average. The reason being is it looks as if we've got the second most negative North Atlantic oscillation since 1995 for the North Atlantic, which is quite interesting, actually. 
And, um, you know, it's, uh, I believe, a side effect of both the stratospheric warming that took place in mid-February, uh, but also the phase eight, the strong phase eight of the Manjulian oscillation, forcing a negative AO and NAO, but also in turn forcing tremendous heat over Southeast Asia. Because what we've got actually, folks, is we've got strong sinking taking place over this region of the world here. So Southeast Asia is cooking thanks to enhanced sinking uh, of air compression um, underneath that high pressure system over uh, you know this region of the world here. Hence why we're seeing extreme warmth at the moment here. So uh, very interesting stuff going on around the world at the moment, that's for sure. And uh, we'll try and look at the, some of the, the details over the next wee while here so um big extremes in, in in china actually heavy blizzard conditions across northern portions of china while we've been seeing temperatures remarkably warm this is a tremendous uh capture here this is a tweet by jim yang and it shows it's actually a, a nasa image i believe anyway of a frontal system a cold front driving south over china dragging a uh, a lot of dust that's been getting lifted up over the Gobi Desert and been uh, blasted south through the country here. And this is an incredible, uh, you know, satellite uh, demonstration of, of what can take place with a potent cold front driving south over uh, northwestern portions of China. There is so much to cover in today's video. I probably will miss stuff out and it, it frustrates the life out of me. But uh, I will certainly try my best to show you as much as possible here. Um, you know, so um, certainly there has been, like I say, a lot of things going on in recent times here. Uh, you know, of course, Ireland beat the UK to the first 21 Celsius of the year. And I believe the 21.2 Celsius that was recorded, I believe on Monday last week at Kinloch Ewan Highland, if the temperature doesn't exceed that, by the end of the month, this will actually be the, the lowest UK April maximum since 2016, believe it or not, which is quite interesting. And somebody in the comment section below, if you can let me know, uh, I don't believe England has recorded 20 Celsius this year so far. And I would be curious to see when the last time England uh, failed to hit 21 during the month of April uh, so um, if somebody knows that, let me know in the comment section below because I would be quite interested uh, to find that out. Um, so yeah, uh, cool and average across parts of southern Britain while we've had warmer than average across the north. And of course, we've got uh, a cold Arctic um, northerly wind coming in at the moment here, which is going to drive the temperatures down a fair wee bit. Middle East, by the way, has been hit hard by flood and rains in, in recent times. This is a tweet by Jim Nichols of AccuWeather. You can see here um, above average precipitation across parts of uh, Turkey, uh, eastern, northeastern Iraq, western fringes of Iran. Saudi Arabia has been hit hard. You notice here over central Saudi Arabia, we've got a, a, quite a wet uh, scenario here. Heavy flood and rain hail has been affected in this region of the world as well, a typically very dry part of the world. But it has been pretty wet in this Middle East region in the last week or so. Of course, all the focus of the heat across uh, um, parts of Asia. Uh, still very dry conditions across Finland, but we've seen all-time record heat achieved in Thailand, 45.4 attack in northern western portions of Thailand. So that exceeds the record, I believe, set back in 2016 for Thailand. Laos has also recorded an all-time record. I believe that 45 uh, Celsius in Myanmar has also been an all-time record for the, the nation of Myanmar, which is quite interesting. So, uh, yeah, trying to skip through to see uh, what's been taking place uh, over recent times. Brazil has recorded some snowfall uh, quite early on, actually, for uh, for the the late uh, you know late autumn early winter of course in Brazil so we're seeing some snowfall across parts of Brazil in recent times um the Thai capital Bangkok extremely muggy city forty Celsius just zero point one Celsius 
off the Capitals' all-time record. So uh, there has been some claims in recent days about the uh, temperature exceeding the all-time record in Bangkok. We've also been seeing incredibly muggy conditions, especially near that Gulf of uh, Thailand coastline where water temperatures are in excess of 30 Celsius. So very, very moist air means we have very, very little cooling by night and temperatures have been holding up above 30 Celsius throughout the night in, in, in and around Bangkok as well as that uh, Gulf of Thailand coastline. So incredibly uh, suppressive conditions here. Very, very, um, after seeing some record breaking cold during the, the winter season, Japan has seen an, a remarkable uh, spell of warmth, uh, not only in March, but also in April. Temperatures as high as 31 Celsius in parts of Japan, as you can see here. A uh, big contrast, like I say, across parts of China between north and south, uh, where temperatures have been high as nearly 43 Celsius in recent times. So uh, pretty pretty interesting stuff, actually. Uh, continuing to skip through here to try and see what I can show you here. Um, other interesting things. Temperatures, by the way, on Friday, stuck in uh, mid-single mid figures, actually, in parts of South Wales. Southwest England, where we had temperatures as high as 18, 19 degrees in Western Scotland. Very interesting stuff. This was a tweet here by Hava Media. I believe that may be the right pronunciation. But look at this here. This is hail accumulation in, uh, in Adana in Turkey back on the 21st of the month. So just shows you flash flooding, not just affecting Saudi Arabia and parts of the Middle East, but also parts of Turkey has been seeing some incredible uh, um, hail as well as flood and rain in recent times. This was uh, the effects of a typhoon or cyclone, sorry, a tropical cyclone Ilsa. And this is the damage that was caused to a roadhouse in, uh, in northwestern Australia after Category 5 Ilsa ravaged the northwestern corner of Australia. So, uh, of course, I touched on this last week. Look at that there. Just incredible damage, devastating damage at that in parts of northwestern Australia due to that cyclone hitting last week. So um, let's have a look at uh, our good friend, uh, Maximiliano Herrera, um, always producing very interesting stuff. A lot of it is about the heat across parts of Asia. Do check out that article I've published now on marfoandweather.com because it kind of looks more specifically at the extremes that has been taking place in this region. Uh, there's a tweet by Terry Goose. New all-time record for Laos uh, for the second day in a row, 42.9 Celsius recorded here. Let's have a look at uh, Terry's tweets here and see if there's anything of particular interest with regards to the extremes. Um, we've also seen the coldest temperatures in the Southern Hemisphere so far. This is by Stefano de Battista, uh, minus 72.7. That's the coldest temperature in the Southern Hemisphere so far. And of course, temperatures are going to continue to drop in the, on, on the Antarctic Peninsula over the next day, uh, over the next uh, couple of months, of course. So, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to see, uh, you know, there's a temperature of 42.4 Celsius in parts of southern China by Jim Yang, all-time record in Laos, of course. And, uh, yeah, um, you know, again, we're starting to see the melt now taking place, of course, across the western United States and Canada. Mauritius has uh, recorded an all-time record for the island, 35.3 Celsius in the last few days. So that's the hottest temperature ever recorded in the West Indian Ocean nation. Um, my battery started to run low as well, unfortunately. Temperatures as high as 28.7 in parts of Canada. So a uh, pretty incredible warmth. And we've seen a big contrast as well. Parts of uh, the United States that has seen temperatures in excess of 90 Fahrenheit actually recorded the temperature of 90 plus or uh, 32 Celsius with snow on the ground, believe it or not. And that was uh, because of the big flipper and ran out of time as per usual. Do like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned and I'll be back again tomorrow with more. Bye.